You'd get someone like Bentner from Arsenal that would probably still believe the hype than the player that he was, but he couldn't do it. Hi, I'm Steve Sidwell, and to celebrate the all-new Dacha Jogger seven-seater, I'm going to choose my ultimate seven-a-side team, picking the best players that I've played with throughout my career to form the talk sport perfect seven with Dacha. Right, first up, goalkeeper. It was a hard choice, but I've gone for Petr Cech. Purely, I think he's one of the greatest goalkeepers uh, to play in the Premier League. But I was playing in front of Czech, you knew that he was going to save it nine times out of ten. I remember one at, at the training ground when I think it was Tal Ben Ahim had a sly tackle and actually cut Petter's lip. I think he still might have the scar now all the way through his lip. There was blood everywhere on the floor. And Petter, being Petter Czech, he, uh, he stitched himself back up near enough. I think he done it by himself and declared himself fit for the game on Saturday and still played. Now time for the defence. There's only one really for me. First name on the team sheet, it has to be Captain John Terry. I don't think John Terry gets the recognition for how good he was on the ball. That's why I've put him in a seven-a-side team as well. He can pass the ball left foot, right foot, whether that's going to be short distances or they're going to be raking 60-yard, 70-yard diagonal passes as well. So especially on the ball, John, John Terry was fantastic. And look, we all know as a captain, as a leader, he galvanised everyone in the dressing room. And look, if we're talking centre-half partnerships, it doesn't come much better than Ricardo Carvalho going in right next to John Terry. Ricardo on the training pitch, he would, uh, I think he was Jose's nemesis at times where it, jo Jose would have the training pitches all set up, the poles, the bibs, the cones everywhere. He would come out and he'd move some poles, move some bibs, and he'd, 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 he'd muck around as such Monday to Friday, knowing that on a Saturday you could always rely on him. So the clipboard forever was coming down from Jose because there was a certain pole or a certain mannequin that was out the way that was because Ricardo was out there earlier on messing up Jose's tactics. On the right we're going to go with Moussa Dembele. I've been lucky enough to play with, with Moussa Dembele and, and against him as well and what a player he is and you speak to any team that he's been in so underrated. Um, a lot of stuff that comes out of training grounds and, and, and interviews with players, they all say he's one of the best players that they've, they've played alongside. And I don't think Spurs have ever replaced someone like Musa, and I don't think they will. I think the way, the way that he could control the game midfield, his defensive expertise in dispossessing opponents with ease, knowing that what way they was going to go and then driving his team forward, but also scoring goals. I, I actually don't think Musa Dembele really reached his, his true high higher potential. I think a few injuries probably portrayed that, so I think he could have gone on to even better things, but Spurs definitely haven't replaced him. Centre of the three in midfield is going to be Gareth Barry. He'd done the, the most simple things so effectively, and there's no wonder why he's gone on to be the most, I think, ever present in the Premier League with the amount of appearances that he's done. He's certainly one that was destined to go to the very, very top. I think Stevie Gerrard tried to get him at Liverpool when I signed in the first year. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise that he went to Man City, got his, his chance to play at the top and I wonder why he's won all the silverware that he's done. To complete my midfield, there has to be Joe Cole. If we're playing seven aside, Joe's the man that has to be in this team. Joe played football in every game, whether it was 11 aside or a, you know, or a, or a five aside kickabout, like it was a kickabout in the street. I think that's where he was. He was a street footballer. He learned all his stuff out in the parks and, and, and in the cages. And even now to this day, we still have a kickabout now in the cage. And we had one uh, down in Vauxhall and uh, in, a, in an estate in a Vauxhall that we just turned up and started playing football. War. And all of a sudden, all these people started coming from out of their houses and they hear that Joe Cole was, was playing on this pitch and uh, before you knew it there was probably 500 people around this cage watching Joe Cole doing all these tricks of the trade and scoring hat-tricks so uh, he's still got it to this very day. And up top the main man Didier Drogba. I was lucky enough to share a dressing room of not only some great players here but Didier was the one, the one that you could always rely on in terms of winning you the game. You used to literally say Lads, give me the ball today and I'll win us the game. And he'd done that in FA Cup finals, Champions League final. I think he scored in every cup final that he played in. So half the medals that, uh, that these players had won, especially in the Chelsea dressing room, were down to Didier Drogba. Didier was obviously very confident in his own ability. When he used to say, look, give me the ball, lads, and I'll, I'll win us the game, you'd look him in the face and you'd say, right, he actually means this. Whereas you'd get someone like Bentner from Arsenal that would probably still believe the hype than the player that he was, but he, he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it to the level that Didier would do. So when, when he spoke, you listened, he had this presence, he had this aura. If you'd walk out and you just want to walk out behind him and, uh, and, and he'd be leading the team. So there you have it, my TalkSport Perfect 7 with the all new Dacha Jogger. Is that the best team that I could have picked from all the players that I've played with in my career? Have your say in the comments below.